Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. Okay, we're going to look at 1987. It was 33 years ago. I'm going to go to just the key ones. Oh, except for this thing. I saw a Kalaluga. The reason why I'm speaking fast is because I've got a little bit to get through and I don't want to keep you waiting. Uh, Kalaluga is 33. Let's go down to here. Now, the first really kind of interesting one starts here on... July 15, martial law ends after 30, <laughs> I'll just leave that in there, um, ends after 38 years, martial law, the Dow Jones closed above the 2,500 mark for the first time, that changes by the end of the year. Um, Rick Astley, never going to give you up. That's really important. Uh, this one here, the World Commission Environment and Development, also known as the Brooklyn Commission, publishes its re report, Our Common Future. Now we've got to have a quick look at this because this laid the groundwork for Agenda 21. Now we've got to Go down the rabbit hole a little bit further. We'll get back there. Agenda 21 is now Agenda 30, 2030. And if we go to Agenda 2030, you cannot search Agenda 2030 by the look of it. I'm not going to bother searching it because that should have come up. I'm not going to bother looking for it. But the good thing is sustainable <laughs> development goals really 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 33 development goals I'm not going to be bothered going through all of this um, but this here is the PDF I downloaded from one of the sources for agenda 21 and of course I just go to section 33 and it's the financial resources and mechanisms Oh, is that like um, you need to crush the economy before you move into your 2030 stage? All right, but it, if you can believe it, it actually gets um, more telling, shall we say. Um, let's get back down here. Sorry if that's flicking through. So that's where we're up to. This one here, the Federal Communications Commissions, or the CC, rescinds the Fairness Doctrine, which had required radio and television stations to present alternative views on controversial issues. So, that means they have started bullshitting and doing one-sided news 33 years ago. How's that? But it gets better. Michael Jackson. Bad. So 33 years ago is the anniversary of it's going to get bad. And uh, this is Black Monday. This is when the stock market crash happened. So that's lost seven... 700 points. What's ours lost? It's gone from 30,000 to 20,000. I guess that's about, I don't know, about 33% it's lost. Uh, it gets better. The world's first conference for artificial life. That's just a bonus. Uh, come on. Come on. The first national coming out day is held. Now, you can imagine, think back a year and a half, all the stuff's been going through with the social justice warriors, with the, all the, all the uh, uh, trans-related trans issues and things like that, that all those laws have all been pushed through before this magical, invisible foe. Um, there's October 19, Michael's level falls sharply. Of course, October. Because uh, October's 33. Um, 
goes down again there, 156 points. It's an interesting little one here. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken opens in China. Where was it? Ah, oh, come on. Where? It was here a minute ago. Max Headroom. Here it is. Max Headroom. Goes on TV and shows his bottom. So that was interesting. Um, that Iran Contra affair, I'm sure there's something in that, but I can't be bothered doing it. Fluxetine is marketed as Prozac for the first time, so 33 years of antidepressants. Space Station Freedom, I've heard that's going to be, sorry everybody, but don't trigger, is space exploration, that's going to be the next thing that generates all the money. Um, I'll make a video, a separate video about that though. Um, the Israeli and Palestinian first infatada begins in the Gaza Strip in the West Bank. The first one, 33 years ago. The Intermediate Range Forces Treaty. It expires in 2019. And Trump's walked away from that, so there's no nuclear treaty between them. Microsoft, good, oh, releases 2.0. Um, I should be so lucky. And of course, the Soviet Union collapses. Uh, I think it's collapsed. And collapse equals 33, 33 years ago. Uh, also, just quickly, that uh, Max Headroom, which I forgot to say, happened on 11.22. So we've got um, stock market crashes. Oh, one of the things I didn't mention in here too is on the 1st of April is the 33rd year of the Australian Stock Exchange. So, which is a Thursday, I believe. Uh, why would you start a stock exchange on a Thursday on April 1st? Because we're all fools because central bank equals 33. So there is a lot in there. Nukes, Palestinians. Um, that's another little interesting one there too, is when it comes to this here, and that there is channel 11. So it's, is it, World Trade or Trade World 1-1, one, one, don't know. Uh, and it's for 90 seconds on channel 11. That could be a stretch. So lots of uh, stuff there to digest. Um, not trying to predict the future, but to look at the past to, to see the future. And um, <laughs> I don't think... You can uh, call me fear-mongering when it's not looking so bright. It has to happen. It's just how you come through it. Is this going to make you stronger? Or are you going to give in to the fear? May the source be with all of us, always. Bonus content, it was um, irking me because I don't like to leave anyone astray. Okay, it does take it to you there. But you gotta know what it is. 33 development goals. Leave me alone. Well, let's do this all in one go. Let's go back another 33 years to 1954. Obviously, I've had a little scroll through it first. Try and do this as fast as possible. Uh, first public demonstration of a machine translation, like an algorithm, to read what you're saying. Starts 66 years ago. Soviet Union. Um, there's a really interesting one here. Um, the National Negro Network is established, so race relations. Um, 
Queen Elizabeth, reigning first monarch in Australia. Wait, wait till you see this shit. Excuse my French, but this is just shit. Um, come on, try not to keep it too long, sorry. Come on. Uh, Dwight D. Heisenauer talks about the domino theory. Well, the dominoes are falling. April 11 is apparently the most boring day of the 20th century. Um, wish it was just as boring as that now. Uh, we're talking about war in Indochina. I think that's Vietnam, though. Um, wait for it. Wait for it. Here it comes. Here it is. And there it is. The creation and first meeting of the Bilderberg Group. 66 years ago from the 303rd year of Freemasonry. And 33 equals 66. Oh, and on the 4th of July, American Independence Day, food rationing ends in England after World War II. <laughs> and food rationing will probably start here 66 years later. Oi vey! Oh, and coincidentally, the Wall Street rises 3.27 points, closing at a whole all-time high. More significantly, the, this is the first time the Dow has surpassed its peak level, reached just before the Wall Street crash of 1929, 66 years ago. Talk about running by the numbers.